All right, hello and welcome to another Ultimate Game Host tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a server with no customizations on it and adding some add-ons to it so that we can use a different admin plugin. We'll use Source Mod as the example for this video. And a couple things we want to note, it's Counter-Strike Source and it's Linux. So now we want to go actually find the pieces of software we need. Now the first one is Source Metamod. We can find that, metamod source, source metamod, they, they write it different ways. And click here, we want the tar.gz for Linux. So we'll click there, I'll pick the first mirror, and that appears to work. We'll save it to the mods folder, this is another folder inside the FTP. We'll just get that downloaded. That was pretty quick, it's done. Now we need to click make your VDF. The operating system is Linux, just as it says here in HLSW and then we want to pick the game Counter-Strike and generate metamod.vdf hit save file save it to the same folders fine and the last piece we need is source mod so source mod.net is the website for this I'll put both I'll put all the web links I've used into the video description when I'm done and we want to get the latest release for Linux so the tar.gz file here works fine and save that file and let's go ahead and take a look at those files in the directory we don't need the uh, web browser anymore so we can close that out alright so we've got both the archives and the VDF that we need let's go ahead and get source mod installed as well uh, I'm using WinRAR on my system but you can also use 7-zip to open these files, typically Windows won't know what a tar.gz is, so you'll want to just get something like WinRAR Archiver or 7-Zip. You can go ahead and Google those, or I'll, I'll actually put links in the video description for those as well. Alright, what I'll do is extract each of these archives to a separate folder as an option with WinRAR. Let's pull those out. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is set up some folders here that I need. I'll create one called add-ons and we'll see in a little bit how that works. And let's take a look what we have here. Oh, so in source mode, so actually I'll create a directory called server and we'll take the source mod and we have the add-ons folder. There's a bunch of different items in here. We won't get too in-depth into that because we're just getting the mod installed and up and running. Copy the add-ons in the CFG. Go into the server and just paste that there. And now we want to grab the Metamod Source 1.8.0 files. There's just an add-ons folder. We'll copy here, come back to the server directory, and paste it right here. Just paste and say yes to all to overwrite. It's only going to overwrite the particular files that it needs. And now we have to add in the files for getting Metamod up and running, which is metamod.vdf. So we can copy this, go into server, add-ons, VDF file goes here. And if we, if we look at this, this is just a file that's giving a little bit of information about where to find Metamod. So if we were on the server, we have add-ons slash metamod slash bin server i486.so this is like a executable but for the Linux side with the server and if we actually look here we can find there's that file within this within the structure that we have set up that we're working with right now now we need to add the line for the meta plugins on here and there's already an example in there as well, but we want to add source mod to this list. So how do we know where it is? Well we know we're inside the add-ons directory and what else do we have? We have source mod and then we have bin and source underbar metamod. So we'll do add-ons, source mod, bin, source I've covered it up, source mod, underbar metamod i486 you don't need to write the dot so and I believe that's all you need there
to get this to work. I think it all it needs is the MM actually, just as it says for the, in the example there. Okay, so that's saved. And we also want to do one last thing with source mod, and that is configure our first admin. So we can go into this uh, inside add-on source mod and configs. We can go into admins under bar simple. Let's go ahead and open this up. And it talks about in this file what you need to do, but the basic idea is you put in the Steam ID that you want to have admin, and then a flag to give it access. So if you want full privileges, there's my Steam ID for instance. Lowercase z gives me full privileges, and then I can write UGH demo. Anything you write after a double slash is a comment. That's why everything else in this file is surrounded by comments. We'll do a save there and I believe this should be ready to upload to the server. So let's go ahead and do that with the FTP client. We'll do a refresh on this directory and we'll connect to our server again using the shortcut we established in previous tutorials. Now we'll notice there's no add-ons folder here. Well what do we do? We just upload and create it. Take these two folders, the add-ons and CFG, because we want to put them in the same level at the root level for the server and do upload. And now we wait. I might edit this part out of the video depending on how long it takes. Alright, we're back. We're just about done with that file transfer. And uh, once that finishes up, I will go ahead and go back to the HLSW page for the server and let's reboot the server with the console command exit. So we're going to tell that server to go down. It should come back up in a few seconds here. There we are. It took a little longer loading the add-ins, but you can see now we have source mod version 1.3.1 loaded on there and metamod source version 1.8.0v. Now, we've installed it, we've added myself to the admin, and we can do, if I can get it loaded quickly enough, we can actually go in-game and I can show you what this looks like in-game now that I'm added to the admin for source mod. around with a couple of the options in that and then we're done. We've in successfully installed Metamod Source and Source Mod in this tutorial. So I like to have a key bound to opening the admin menu. So once again we'll open up that server console and we'll do bind X, so the X key on the keyboard, to SM underbar admin. And now when we hit X, there's the admin menu on the left hand side. The by symbol is kind of in the way. But you can see there's player commands, different things you can do. Um, for instance, I could slay myself and the round's over. Um, you can open up that menu and say choose a map. Let's say we wanted to go to office. Hit the button for office and it says changing map to office. And then it changes the map. It's a little easier than in the previous tutorials we showed using Archon and using HLSW and console commands. It's a little quicker to let something like a source mod admin plugin manage those things for you. If we get in quickly, I think I'm running out of time on the, the limit here for YouTube. But um, you can basically do all sorts of different things with source mod. And we'll end. I'll just kick myself out of the server and. Well, that's it. Thank you for watching, and look forward to more of our tutorials.